1922, the home of Jim and Cora Purdy was built just outside Gagetown, the town where Jim Purdy owned the state bank, worked as a lumberman, and raised cattle. A year later, he built a monumental octagon barn on his land. Now, over 90 years later, the barn serves as an agricultural museum for preschool kids through high school kids from all across the thumb. Over the three-day school tour season, about 1,100 students and 400 chaperones visit the barn. We talked to Diane Rapson Gable, who organizes the school tours, about why they hold them. This is part of our mission statement is education and passing history down. So this fits our mission statement from that standpoint. So we, the fee that children pay is just very nominal. We just try to cover costs of anything we have now, but it's not a money maker. So it's purely education for the children. Teachers sign up and then the, uh, they choose which of the 26 areas they want their class to attend. So it meets their educational needs because most of the groups have to be able to verify that this is educationally based in order to get permission to do field trips. The volunteers at the barn certainly cover their bases in making the tours educational with the fully furnished Purdy House, a schoolhouse, a working blacksmith shop, wood mill, and a sugar house for making maple syrup. There's plenty to see and learn. The 2014 season's theme is Michigan apples. To find out why, we spoke to barn volunteer Dave Yaro, playing the role of Johnny Appleseed for the tours. Now, John Chapman did that. So where did Johnny Chapman? Johnny Appleseed come from. Michigan apples has been the theme this year because uh, every year we try to get something different. Well, we have a great apple crop in Michigan, and we thought it would be very versatile for every one of our areas that we are in. They can do something with apples, from the sawmill doing apple wood, all up to the presses and uh, demonstrations, and kids like apples. So we thought it would be an excellent theme, and it's turning out to be. It's a great start this year. Euro explained how the man who built the barn compared to Johnny Appleseed. Purdy was a, a visionary. He created the Octagon Barn for us. And we need to have more people like that, get, thinking out of the box. So Johnny Appleseed was a person that just went through his life, living a good life, talking to people, getting along with everybody, and ultimately became a legend, or a myth, or was it fact or fiction? We don't know. Purdy, again, was a gentleman farmer. He was a banker. He had a sawmill. But he wanted something grand, something that would stand out. And he created it. Unfortunately, he uh, lived on the grounds for about 20, 22 years, went back into town in the 70s, and the barn went into disrepair. So thankfully, we have a group of people locally that decided that this is too big of a, an asset, too valuable of an asset for our community to lose. And 19 years later, it's not raining inside anymore. Reporting for WLEW, I'm Brian Terry.